Yeah. And man, this movie takes you on a hell of a journey. Um, you would never think it was adapted, you know, from a play. Um, John, you know, was that always your ambition? You know, bring it from stage to, to screen. And this, of course, is your, you know, feature directorial debut. Uh, how would you sum up that experience? Uh, you know, I, I, I wrote it as a play initially, you know, um, just for that medium. And, you know, I think I, I really, we really lucked out in how it did translate because I think the stakes of the play are very cinematic. A lot of plays don't necessarily translate because of that. Um, you know, and, and, and a common term in the industry for a screenwriter is like, open it up. And in that case, opening this movie up uh, really brought, I mean, it didn't just add running time, it added to the depth of it. It made it more impactful. It did all those things. Yep and just added to the naturalism of it. So, uh, you know, I didn't write it thinking it'd be a movie. Obviously, early on when John and I met on that, we were always like, I mean, we were doing this stuff night after night. We'd be like, man, this would be a cool movie. And we're like, sure. But then over the years, we realized that so many of the themes of the play are more relevant now than ever. And that's a really good reason to put the effort in and, and try to update it and see how it, how it affects audiences in modern day. And John and Shay, uh, what were your initial thoughts when you read the play and decided to obviously do the, the movie? Uh, you know, look, again, I, I was in the whole process from, 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 from the play. Um, the, the play was such a, such a privilege to, to, to be a part of, man. You know, it was, it was really electric. It, it really took off in the best sort of way. It was, it was, it was very humble, you know, tiny little theater, a 10.30 at night show. Um, but, 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 but it, it, it became the place to be, you know, and it was sort of this singular defining artistic experience for all of us and for the audience. And it brought in all kinds of people to the theater and it was so dangerous and, and, and fun and, and, and punk rock. And, and, uh, you know, we really wanted to, to, to capture that. And, um, I was kind of along for the ride with John over the 10 years of kind of making that, that happen. Um, and, and, and honestly, it was, it was beautiful. And I think we really captured what was amazing in the play and amplified it. And I will say, I, I think really the, 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 the sort of the best addition and the, and, and then the best sort of the way we grew the most is by, by, by bringing Shay on and what he brought to that part. Uh, that's, that's kind. I, 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 I didn't, I never read, I didn't read the play. I couldn't go into this knowing too much. It would have overwhelmed me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if I thought too much about what they'd accomplished, I did know how, I did know everything that John said about it. Uh, but I just, you know, we, I, we all kind of sat down and said, this is going to be, this is going to take on a life of its own. And uh, they welcomed me in and welcomed my packy. And I said, I may, I may fall on my face. You guys have got this amazing uh, chemistry. Some of the insults that are thrown about are, are so funny. Was that, you know, always in the script or did you guys have, uh, you know, freedom to, you know, throw insults at each other and see what kind of landed? I, th I think a lot of the back and forth, man. And, 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 and yeah. you know, there's there's nothing like like humor that I, that I think sort of speaks to the, the, the character of a friendship. We know each other. We know each other so intimately. This is really about the family that you choose. So we know each yeah. other's insecurities. We know each other's strengths, our weaknesses. So we're constantly preying upon each other, bolstering each other up, tearing each other down. But I think what that reveals is really this sort of vocabulary of, of intimacy and family. And I think like there's many times in the script, you'll see many times in the piece where, you know, we're allowed to make fun of each other, but no outsider is. And I think that there's a real, real truth to, 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 to sort of familial friendship where that's, that's how it kind of goes down. And those, the, I mean, you bring up a good point, Thomas, because those, if you're winking at the camera with those insults, if you're trying to be funny, if you're trying to play stoned, if you're trying to play high on Molly, it, it doesn't work. It, it only works if, if it's really grounded and it lands with the other. So we, I think we worked hard. A lot of it came from John Polano's script. A lot of it did. You know, so or he would have, you know, he, uh, 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 Bernthal and I would get going, and you know, we said you can hurt your, let's say your brother, or your best friend, in ways that you 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 can hurt them, you can shiv to the liver, you know, with, with humor. <laughs> and it's like, but the minute someone else talks about John or talks about or insults me, it'd be just, you know what I mean? And that's what you want to yeah. feel without us trying too hard, you know. I think John really turned it uh, into an art 
I must say. Um, well, guys, uh, thanks so much uh, for your time. Your best of luck uh, with the movie's release. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.